Good morning, everyone. I am Razwan Ulhaq. I head the data center business of Bonnet. Today, we are excited to announce a groundbreaking partnership that will revolutionize the business in Qatar to optimize their processes and drive efficiency. In a fast-paced world of business, staying ahead of the competition requires innovative solutions and cutting-edge technology. Bonnet Data Center, a leader in providing advanced IT infrastructure services and data center services, is teaming up with Oracontech, a global leader in no-code business process optimization solutions. Oracontech's no-code platform empowers businesses to streamline and automate their processes without need for traditional coding or complex IT interventions. This means that organizations in Qatar can now optimize their business processes quickly and efficiently without long development cycles and costs associated with the traditional software solutions. Whether it's healthcare, finance, logistics, aviation, oil and gas, or any other industry, or a context no-code applications can be tailored to meet specific business needs, from automating repetitive tasks to digitizing approval processes. It's all possible with the power of no code. Together, Manai Data Center or Contech are committed to empowering businesses in Qatar with tools they need to achieve digital transformation and growth. In this webinar, we discover how, to part of, how our partnership can unlock endless possibilities for your business. With this, I'm going to hand over to Elian, the Global Sales Director for Oral Contact, to take it from here. Elian. Uh, thank you. Thank you for this nice introduction. Uh, I will be sharing my screen now. So yes, as uh, Razvan said, um, our strategic partnership with Manai uh, will be benefiting uh, all the corporate, uh, medium and small organizations in Qatar as well as government due to the fact that a combination of an organization like Manai and a vendor like our Quantic is the perfect um, uh, duo to actually get things uh, done, as we have done as well with over 10 million people um, all over the world using our Quantic Snow Code technology. Um, many times, of course, the, the big doubt is okay, that digital transformation, this optimization, the streamlining and standardization of processes needs to be achieved, but how do we uh, do it? How can we achieve that? And many times it needs to happen right away. And people don't want to go, go into projects that are the traditional development cycle that have the traditional length and uh, procedures. They want it right now and they want to do it uh, in a fast and streamlined way. But the questions remain, uh, how are we going to do it? Who is going to do it? And more importantly, at what cost? And this is very important because many times we rush into these projects uh, and our customers have shared their pains with us and they haven't had the time to answer those questions. Which is the right technology? What is the approach? What team should I uh, set up? And more importantly, how is going to be my return on investment? So what is going to cost me to actually put this into uh, operations? And for this, the first question is, of course, we get lost. We get lost between all the different technologies that are out there and customers don't know what to use. We have BPM, which is the business process management. We have IBPMS, which is Intelligent Business Process Management Suites. We have the low code, we have the no code, we have the RPA, and we have the artificial intelligence. So many different uh, terminologies, so many different technology that is behind each one of these words. But the important part is that here, our Quantic is actually to help you get through all of this because our Quantic is all of the above and much more. We have been defined as a BPM platform. 
We have been leaders in the IBBMS technology. We are a low-code, no-code platform that actually doesn't require any coding whatsoever. And anything from process automation to artificial intelligence is available inside our Quantic. So what is our Quantic? What do we do and how do we come into play? The, the key element here is that our Quantic take care of all the three main components of a business application, the interface, the logic, and the data. And this combination, what creates a business application. Very important that in this, uh, in this uh, ecosystem that we are creating with, uh, with, with our platform, I think my screen got lost, uh, all of this is within a framework, within a platform that allows our customers not only to create those business applications, but they as well apply governance to actually control what is going on, who is interacting, uh, who can actually modify any procedures and rules that are related to it. And, and of course, extract valuable insight from those uh, processes and application that has been created with native solutions that are within the platform. Of course, the big goal is to accumulate as many applications and automation as possible. And that is where the most return on investments comes in when we're talking about the digital transformation journey. You don't want a single use solution. You want our Quantics platform to actually cover all of your necessities from business operations to uh, human resources, uh, to sales, marketing, supply chain, any processes that are related to your businesses and need to be streamlined, not only within the department, but as well between uh, the different uh, geographical entities, logistical separations, and as well, of course, the operational elements. So we are an all-in-one platform. As the name says, all-in-one means a lot of things. We have intelligent document processing. We have, of course, the enterprise content management, which is native as well as the intelligent document processing. We have the connectors, which allows for hyper automation to connect not only people uh, with their business processes, but as well systems and any uh, of your IT ecosystem in a streamlined and standardized process that can be automated no code connectors that allow this integrations to happen. As well, we have the workflow part, which is using the global standards of business process management notation to not only represent the processes, but actually to automate them simply by diagramming or telling the story of what needs to happen in, inside your organization. Document management as well, embedded and native within the platform, and I say native a lot, and this is very important because every sub-segment of our Quantic is our own products. That means that this is not done through acquisition or uh, a zombie uh, features that have been stitched together. Everything is part of the platform. Everything has been created by our Quantic. So everything natively interacts as well as integrates. No code applications, because in the end, everything you create within our Quantic doesn't require a single line of code from forms to rules to interfaces. It's simply drag and drop and configuration screens that are being used. All of this, of course, uh, is not something that hasn't been tested. We have over 20 years of experience over 10 million users in 50 countries that are currently using our Quantic. And that, of course, it's a very impressive result for a technology company that is on the market so many years, serving so many different customers and benefiting so many different organizations globally. This comes together as well with global recognition that we have received. And this is uh, one of the latest report that has been done by uh, the global uh, analyst company Tech. It's a Canadian company that analyzes technology. It analyzes really what the features and how it's benefiting uh, the customers that are using it. 
And in their latest report, which came out end of the year uh, uh, last year, we have been not only positioned as leader uh, in this uh, uh, in this report, but far ahead of any other company that doesn't come even close to user experience, as you can see, uh, that amazes and functionality, which allows a full stack functionality to really cover any scenario. This analysis was focused on the process management and automation or PMA solutions, but uh, many times, as I said, we get lost in terminology. So what PMA actually means is that it combines uh, inside one term, this is process management and automation, the workflow management, so anything that is related to, uh, to workflows, the business process management, the digital process automation, so this is no human intervention processes for orchestrating data throughout the organization, uh, process mining and uh, intelligence, robotic process automation, as well as local development. That means that within one term, uh, they have analyzed in depth all of these components with all their complexity, with all their functionalities and features and user experiences, and have positioned us as leader in the global stage that no one comes even close to what uh, we have achieved with our customers. All of this is of course a result that many of our customers have uh, experienced. As you can see in this um, example, some of uh, our customers, we have customers that are from the energy sector, we have manufacturing, banking, uh, we have uh, companies that are uh, retailers, as well as many companies that are in the automotive business. Uh, Nissan, as an example, are actually using us on a global scale throughout the, all their factories and administration offices through from Japan to Vietnam uh, to UK and the US, but as well uh, companies that are related to healthcare, which is uh, uh, one of the biggest healthcare providers in Europe, uh, insurance companies, because in the end, as a platform, we are not a vertical. We provide a tool that allows to automate, streamline, and automate your processes. It doesn't matter what your size, what your necessity is, and more importantly, it can cover a wide range of solutions within the same organization. Of course, I never liked only showing logos because in the end, uh, these are just logos of some companies. But the important thing is that all of these uh, companies not only are using our Quantic, but they have uh, achieved impressive results by automating and of course, creating their processes with no code, low code. All of this is available on our website where you can see hundreds and hundreds of success stories that actually those customers have shared with us. They have allowed uh, their results, their pain points to be shared and how they have covered them, solved and really uh, taken over um, their organization as a digital twin, how they've achieved the automation and the goal they have set up to. And this is very important because in the end, Every story that we have available, these hundreds and hundreds of success stories are actually real projects. They are real organizations that have not only used the platform, but are so proud of what they've done. They have done actually case studies on it. We have videos on our YouTube channels and case studies on our website. So as you can see, there isn't an industry or a use case that we cannot help. Whatever your scenario is, whatever your organization is, or the size of your organization, Manai and Aura Quantic can help. We can focus, we can choose what is the most appropriate way to start your uh, automation journey, your process uh, standardization journey, and of course, to how to achieve these results in a very short, cost-effective and user-friendly uh, way so that your organizations really 
get to the place where uh, you need to come. And of course, all of this is uh, in combination with how we provide this highly strategic value by combining all of this technology in a native way that you have it inside one unique platform that doesn't require any coding whatsoever, recognized globally with a long, long history of success stories, customers, experience, and more importantly, in this case, with a collaborator, with a partner uh, as Manai Corporation that can serve and provide any solutions to the Omani and many other markets in the region. So from my side, uh, you have my contact details. You can uh, write me directly for any questions, any doubts. And I hope you embark in this journey together with us so that we can help you actually uh, achieve your digital goals. So any questions you might have, please um, send them into the QA section that you have available inside your chat. And uh, Ivan, please, or you can take over here. Hi, um, so um, I have a question, Eileen. Uh, when we're doing, uh, when we are actually shifting the flowcharts, because it's a no, no, no code, um, would the end user, um, would would the end user have to define the process flows and execute it, or would it be sent across to the technical team in order for them to execute it into a application? That's a very good question. So uh, we've seen different organizations, depending on the maturity of their internal structure, approach mm -hmm. it. To the so we have companies that create a center of excellence or already have a center of excellence where all the necessities of the business are being prioritized and uh, put into action where they create like a democratization model where business together with IT uh, are working on delivering the, the solutions. And we have as well organizations that already have automated their core or a really key processes and application that they need. And they have opened it up as a playground, as a digital playground for departments where even business users that have no technical background get trained into our Atlantic and create something like a tribal system, which uh, in, from each department, people, maybe some uh, is really good at making really nice interfaces. Others are very good at structuring rules and others are very fast and very handy with actually defining and drawing and converting the business need into a process. So it is really up to every organization how they would do it. But the important part here is that none of it needs to be a waterfall project. That means that business starts gathering and gathering and gathering and defining and documenting and uh, turning this information over to uh, someone who can um, make it a reality. It can actually be done and it should be done in an agile way with a scrum uh, methodology, creating sprints and not having the fear uh, even if you don't have it defined um, well, put it into production. You can do daily or weekly even improvements to your application and your processes because in the end, we're talking about a completely different way of approaching implementation and digitalization without any code in an agile way. Okay, thank you for answering that question. Do we have any other questions? Okay, someone's raising a hand. Yes, Abdul Rahman.
So his question is, uh, Hello? Does, okay. Can you hear me now? Yes, we can. There's a question about data privacy. So um, starting from the very, very um, basics, um, our platform is certified in ISO 27001. We are going through uh, black box and white box testing in every update. That means that we are being tested by Hackathon and certified that uh, for the different levels of security uh, and data governance. But more importantly, as uh, our platform and our company has um, origins in Europe, we are under GDPR, which is the General Data Protection Regulation, which is the strongest and most fearsome uh, regulation about data privacy that exists nowadays. So the platform uh, has even inbuilt native features to actually categorize and protect and uh, defend from misuse of uh, uh, per personal data and private data. Uh, and it's even available to categorize it based on the GDPR regulation. So that's very important. But regarding where the data resides, that's as well very important because there's a question about where the data is being stored. Aura Quantic as a platform can be deployed uh, depending on the let's say the regulations of each company and preferences of each company. That means it can be deployed in the cloud. It can be deployed in a cloud managed by our Quantic itself. It can be deployed in a data center of your choosing, and it can be even uh, deployed in uh, on-premise in your own data centers. We don't lose any features or functionalities. The same platform can be deployed in different uh, areas in different hostings. That means that we're talking here about a private deployment for each customer. This is not a mass product. That means that it's not one platform where everybody logs in and the data resides in a huge data center managed by us. It is actually a private deployment, private on-prem and private uh, cloud in the cloud. I hope this answered your question about uh, the data uh, and the data, where the data is stored and how we handle data privacy and personal data. We have another question, Ilian. It's about configuration and implementation. What are the timelines we are looking for a small organization size of 500 users to 10 billion users? Wow. Okay, so- I'm sorry. <laughs> here, the, 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 the question is very interesting. So uh, the, the timelines actually don't depend on the amount of users because if I create, I don't know, uh, uh, let's go with a very simple example like um onboarding or offboarding process or some hr related processes like uh, vacation requests or salary uh, improvement or whatever the application is an application if it's going to be used by 10 people or by 10,000 people it doesn't really matter it only depends on the computation uh, and the servers where it's going to be deployed so the implementation timelines are actually depending on the type of project that you're going to be doing. We have customers that uh, on their maturity journey, for example, we have a banking customer that uh, has been with us for around six, seven years now. And uh, they have hundreds of applications and processes they've automated inside our Quantic, but the important case that they've shared with us is that when the government um, released a new regulation where it allowed all their customers that had mortgages to be able to freeze their mortgages during the pandemic, this was a process or this was uh, a procedure within the organization they didn't have. So, of course, they instantly identified that the best way and the fastest way to do it is with our Quantic, which they already had in place. And in less than two weeks after the regulation came out, 
they have rolled out a working application uh, streamlined process in all their offices, handling hundreds of thousands of requests to actually uh, do this mortgage moratorium, which is uh, freezing the payments of your mortgage. And this was, of course, a very, uh, very big um, story. Of course, it always depends on the process. If you're going to be doing a global process that affects um, hundreds of thousands of people in different areas in different geographical areas, it will depend on the complexity of the process. So we've seen cases from two weeks to cases that maybe can take six months or a year, but it always depends on the amount of people. And of course, the amount of people actually working to create the, the configurations and the complexity of the project. That's a big difference when you have one person working to, to deliver the project or five or 10 or 100 people working to deliver the project. I think we have another question from Abdul Rahman. Yes. Dear Ellen, here uh, I have a question about the licensing system that you are following this uh, product. Yes. And also, if uh, we try uh, to use uh, lower code power apps of Microsoft, but we were surprised that if we, wake, if we are going to make a mobile application with this product, it we it would be it won't be public. It would be restricted to uh, establishment uh, use only. And if uh, and we have to uh, charge us per user on this case. Now your product here, how can you introduce it in the matter of I want to make public uh, mobile application, for example, and put it in the stores iOS and uh, and Android and so on. Okay. Uh, how how licensing system is working? Is it just a box license that I take the product uh, with the man annual support and so on, or it depends on the amount of the users that are going to use my applications? Okay, so this is uh, uh, both ways. So we have over oversimplified it. Uh, we said we said we don't care how many processes or how many applications you're going to be creating with our Quantic. That means that we don't charge neither on transactions or amount of processes and application or complexity of the processes. We only charge based on users. And the users are the end users. So the users that are actually going to be using the platform or somehow interacting with the platform. And they can be named or concurrent users. That means that we have a concurrency model. That means that let's imagine you need to roll it out to your 50,000 customers, but you know that there are never more than 20 people, um, I don't know, making requests or interacting with uh, one of the applications. That means that all of them can have access, all of them have, will have personalized uh, uh, rules and profiles, and but you can limit it by using only 20 concurrent licenses, as an example. Uh, the other thing is that our licensing model allows to be in an in acquisition, that means one-time payment with a yearly maintenance for CapEx organizations, so organizations that do CapEx expenditures. And we have as well subscription model, which allows you to rent the licenses. Again, it's completely separated from the hosting. That means that you can host it anywhere and you can choose any of the licensing models. That means that you can be on premise, with subscription licenses, or you can even be in the cloud with acquisition licenses. That's very important. Regarding the second part of your question is about app stores. We don't create standalone applications. So that's that's a very big differentiation because in the end, we are for corporate use or uh, small and medium-sized organizations, but for uh, process and orchestration. That means this is not for standalone usage. This is when uh, you interact multiple people, divisions, departments between each other and data 
that flows uh, mm, mm, corporate data that flows through these processes, which clearly excludes the fact to do something that st stands on an edge device. What we provide are uh, web applications and the native application of Araquantic, which acts as a, a window to all the applications and processes you have created inside our bundle. You cannot just create, I don't know, you wouldn't be creating like a, a, a photo editing application and you deploy it in, on the um, on the app store. It's really for uh, company use. And yes, you can expose it to the outside. Uh, you can mm, define even three different layers of exposure. So we have the employee exposure, which is for inside the organization use that can be only accessed from within the organization. You can expose that employees can use it from the outside. You can have different DMZs configurations, multiple DMZ, multi-authentication methods that you can apply to the same platform. So you can use everything from SAML to uh, from a B2C server to ADFS services uh, or OpenID. So all of this you can combine and actually expose it to the outside and to the inside. The three levels that we have are employee, external, and anonymous. That means that you can create even processes and applications that don't require login to be triggered. Imagine it for, I don't know, a claims process, or a registration uh, process or contact us type thing. Uh, all of this is available inside the platform. Abed, did, did this answer your question? Yes, but uh, what we are looking just uh, we wanted to we combined both you know our apps of uh, Microsoft gives you this ability to bring uh, web applications and also mobile applications at the same time. That but is the pro that oh, is, yes, it's a funny thing that uh, uh, that actually different products do different things. So we have customers that uh, use. For example, as you mentioned, Power Apps, they use Power Apps for some front end and single productivity use cases, but not for actually uh, streamlined processes. We are natively integrated with the entire Office 365 uh, ecosystem, as even Satya Nadeya himself, and you can search for that even in YouTube recommends us and gives us as the example of the future of application development that is our Quantic. So actually the CEO of Microsoft recommends us for enterprise application development. It all depends on the use case. Can we have this uh, presentation slides on our emails? Uh, yes, we can. We can send you, for example, the the part of the integration with Office 365, and we can send you as well the video uh, to uh, how Satya himself is talking about us okay. and recommending us to the ecosystem. Okay. Okay. Thank you. We will also be sharing the link of the webinar post this meeting. And yes, we will reach out to your programmer. Okay, as uh, the time is going to an end, um, any final words from our uh, partner, Manai? Awesome. I think we have almost concluded it. Uh, thank you all for attending today's webinar. Um, I hope you've uh, found this helpful. I would also like to take this opportunity to thank Ilin for sharing his expertise with us. Razwan, thank you for your introduction. Uh, we appreciate your time and effort. Uh, thank you, Rocio, Alba, Harvey for organizing this webinar uh, alongside Manai Data Centers. Um, I would also like to thank attendees Adnan Mohammed and uh, Abdul Rahman for your participations. Uh, your questions and comments helped us uh, to make this webinar a valuable learning experience for all of us. 
Um, if you have any further questions, please don't he hesitate to get in touch with us. Uh, we will, like I said again, we will be sending out a recorded link of the webinar post this meeting. And yeah, that's all it. Uh, thank you again, guys.